Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing at the Madden cheese. As always, got another gameplay video for you guys today. I'm gonna go over the new offense that I've been running uh, pretty much all last weekend league, and I'm thinking about running it this week uh, in weekend league. But ultimately, it's gonna come down to what you guys think because I don't want to run a really weird offense that nobody really uh, understands or picks up on. I'm running the pistol offense. I'm gonna go over that in a little bit, but I just want to show you guys my team a little bit at the moment. This is from last weekend's weekend league. I'll have a, I basically record all my uh, you know videos for the entire week week every weekend league and then i produce the videos based off of what i either am doing or did my first opponent here looking like he's got a 50 out of 50 steelers team uh most of his secondary representing at 99s across the board i got the uh i'm using the washington camp 25 washington 25 uh kc right now but that might be changing uh coming up here pretty soon too i might switch to the niners i might switch to the raiders i'm not really sure yet let me know in the comment section which ones you guys would like to see as well as what playbook you guys would like to see me use i'm using the pistol right now because i'm just really feeling it and i'm gonna break down the entire offense in today's game play but i could use any alternate playbook i'm really into the alternate playbooks right now any playbook let me know in the comment section other than that also if you guys want to get five percent off of my coins you get your team up like mine check out mmoxp.com link in the description below and use discount code money shot to get five percent off now like i said this is the pistol playbook right here there's only one formation it's the pistol playbook there's nothing but pistol plays pistol goal line hail mary special teams that's it that may sound crazy especially when you see there's 27 pistol formations <laughs> I have everything I need for a great offense. The number one formation I pretty much start off with, and to me one of the most overpowered, is the pistol full house. Now, I just broke this down in another gameplay a little bit more in depth than I will today. Every single scheme that I show you today will have a link in the description below. One of the first things I do is I put Vernon Davis at my fullback spot. I recently bought Marcel Reese, and I like him a little bit better. I also put Lamar Jackson at quarterback. Rich Gannon is great for passing plays, but I use Lamar Jackson for running plays. The first play that I typically look for is the counter lead. The counter lead is going to be one of the most overpowered run plays in this formation uh there's really two plays there's that play and then there's also the zone read the zone read is probably the second most important play i'm pretty much going to be looking for one of these two plays pretty much the entire time that i'm running this offense and to a lesser extent i also run the halfback slam and i also run the triple option but these are going to be my four audibles all four of them are run plays they're all really explosive they're all cheesy and annoying it's just pretty much why i'm using it there's one more thing you can do as well you can actually put a receiver in the backfield so if you guys want to see a gameplay with tyree kill as a running back in this formation do me a favor hit the like button let me know in the comments section other than that we start off with a passing play but like i said i'm always looking for the run plays if my opponent pinches the defensive line like he did just there all i'm really going to do is switch over to the zone read it's that simple on the first play it's exactly what i do but i don't quite trust it i had a whole train of blockers here but since me and my opponent are wearing the same color uniforms it's kind of hard to read that fast cut it off short i take it up the middle i still get a good carry but you want to trust that read and take it to the outside just about every time on the next play i see my opponents running the big nickel over g cover three so i hit him with a cover three beater the pax post it's really all about that wheel route it gets opened underneath cover threes that's really all there is to it like i said it's just an easy little way of stealing you know 5 10 15 yards just about every time somebody runs a cover three on the next play we're back to those run plays you can see pinches that defensive line once again this time i'm going to stick with the actual read i'm going to flip over to the zone read but i'm actually going to make it work because i'm actually going to follow it all the way out and sure enough we have much more success this time as you can see i actually trusted the blocking on the next play though i go with a play where essentially uh, i put everybody on a route and on third and two we can go he gets like an instant shit. He must have double or nothing on or something to get to sack. Hey, we're going to go for it. Fourth and eight is nothing to this offense. I'm just kidding. But realistically, we're going to switch it over. We're going to go to the pistol bunch TE. This is probably one of my best passing offenses. Uh, it's really all about two plays. The strong power is one of the most important. And then the second most important, without a doubt, uh, would be the passing play I'm going to use next, which is the cross drag. Cross drag is a very hard to stop play. All I'm really going to do is I'm going to put this running back on some sort of route, motion him out. Sometimes I streak him. Sometimes I slant him. On a fourth and eight, I'm going to slant him. But when you have all these crossers as long as you make a good read you're going to pretty much pick up the fourth and eight it's pretty much a guarantee and as i'm watching this to be honest with you i probably could have went any number of routes i think i probably could have held the ball and went to uh the y route and i'll just take that first down just take that guaranteed first dot that uh you know crosser up and then i'm going on to my next offense my next offense once again the pistol a slot pretty much a similar concept i got the pa counter waggle i got the strong power it's pretty much the exact same on offense but it's a different formation so your opponents typically don't see it coming uh and i'm going to basically do the exact same thing because this is such a run heavy playbook 
pretty much every time you run these type of plays, your opponent is going to uh, suck in. They're going to play the run first, which is exactly what happens. And you can see the user just a step behind. And that step is all I really need. And then I just beat him over the top uh, for, you know, a 50-yard play on a simple crosser. Then I'm going to go back to the cross drag play. All I'm really going to do is the exact same setup. When it comes to the goal line, though, it's going to be a little bit of a different read. Most people run cover two zones when it comes to goal line because you can hard flat these outside cornerbacks. You can stop outside routes. So I motion out the running back. Uh, most people are going to pay attention to that motion, too. They're going to expect the slant to be the play. But in reality, I'm going straight for that A route. Time to get locked because that A route's gonna open up right between those two safeties and the user's gonna be too concerned with the crossers. But that was like a handoff. Gotta love Gunslinger, man. So on the next play, I mean, on defense, you know, first play, I got this dude running like crazy with Vic. Uh, he's a good opponent, he's got a good team. This is gonna be a tough game all the way to the end. On the next play, breaks me with a run play. Basically just put half my defense in a spin cycle. Uh, on the next series, second and one, I mean, there's not really too much that I'm doing right here. As you can see, he rolls out, and I just basically let him walk right in the end zone with some terrific tackling technique. Yeah, yeah. So I basically rolled out the red card before him on that play. On the next offensive series, we're going right back to the same old tricks. Play, I mean, I pre-diagnose uh, this triple option. It's really simple. He has an extra defender on the left. He does not have an extra defender in the box on the right, so I'm going to go to the, uh, the right side. And we're flipping it out. Pretty much every time I run this play, it's to flip the ball out. It's not to hand it off up the middle, but I guess you can do that. So next play, once again, still pinching that defensive line. He's going to learn. So on this next play, I mean, it's a real simple read once again. The cover three box safeties on the right side. I got the open side of the field to the left, so this couldn't be easier. So once again, we're running this play to hand it off. Just hold A and then take it wide. Oops. And you can see there's not a lot out here, especially against smaller defenses like this. I thought I had a touchdown there, but he has a lot of speed on the backside. Then on third and six, I don't think he stopped me, but the red zone definitely did. He gets, uh, gets a good play there, and I have to take the field goal. Uh, it is what it is, though. So we're still up. I'm going to be running uh, the dollar three two six mostly, and this is another scheme that I put out. Link in the description below if you want to catch up on any of the schemes you're seeing today, any of the plays you're seeing. I run like eight plays out of this formation, but my favorite's probably the cover three cloud show too. That's going to be the formation I start with, and you're going to see my opponent's going to have no idea what he's looking at when he drops back in the pocket, which is typically the look. That's what I want. I want people to be confused. He holds the ball extra long. Huh? Looks like he fell asleep back there. <laughs> Then he gets to throw out a sack animation. He probably should have just ate it because we're getting a pick six. Or not, as we get the stupidest animation ever. I mean, I got sucked in by this animation. Either that or that lineman has like the world record for broad jump. I really don't know. But either way, on the very next play, switch over to the halfback slam and we take care of business. So we take the lead. He did come around though. He almost stopped that play. I just get a lucky animation on the, on the other side. That's Madden for you. A game that's completely determined by animations that are triggered. So on the next uh, drive, he's only got like 50 seconds to get down the length of the field. So he's going to basically uh, run a little bit of a hurry up here. Empty backfield said i'm in a prevent defense you know what they say about prevent defenses it prevents you from winning the game that's right so i'm coming out in uh, some cover four drops should have had a turnover right here uh but for whatever reason none of my defensive players i had three guys tackling michael vick not a single one of them had the awareness to go after the ball next play we're gonna hit him with a little bit of a different defense here we're hitting with the cover three drop and i guess i should have stuck with that cover four it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. As he beats me right up to cover three with an interesting route that I don't even know what that route was. So he scores, leaving me with only 13 seconds on the clock. Now that's plenty of time. I may use this playbook for its run plays, but it has some very explosive passing plays. I did a video just yesterday about the corner strike being one of the better post-patch cover three beaters. Link in the description below. So I'm going to go right to that. And on the very next play, we hit a one play touchdown right up the seam. He could go or not if we only had terry mclaurin fully powered up he probably would have been gone why are the best cards a million coins so we only got five seconds left so we have a shot to take one play uh, at the end zone i'm gonna go right back to the cross drag play like i said i'm gonna do the exact same thing too my opponent should be expecting this since i just scored a touchdown against this uh but sure enough he's not even in the right position he's still using all the crossers Bruh. and we get a really super fast and what is essentially a handoff for another touchdown. That took 10 seconds to get all the way down the field, by the way. Got the ball with 13, scored with three seconds remaining. In the second half, we go right back to the dollar, three, two, six. Pretty much locking everything up on the backside, but he's taking off with Vic a little bit more than I like. So we're going to come out. He's coming out a lot of three tight end stuff, so we're going to come out and try to match that. Still in the dollar, but send a little bit of heat out of a cover, too. He tries to split those safeties. 
But I'm all over that. We get an interception. I mean, that's the first key about defense. You always have to guard your biggest weakness. And when it comes to cover twos, right between the safeties, one of the biggest weaknesses. On the offensive side, we get a little bit conservative. Uh, you know, basically like running on third and five, which we typically don't do. I try to get the pitch out, but it just doesn't come out. So we have to take a really long field goal from the 40-yard line damn near. Uh, and we split the upright. <laughs> So that field goal puts us up 15. My opponent here, he's got to move the ball fast. He's in a bad spot. It's almost fourth quarter. He's down two touchdowns. But he looks pretty calm as he's almost falling asleep in the pocket. Finally, he snaps out of it and tries to roll out and make a play, but uh, yeah, no, it's not going to happen. So, next play, his superior athleticism with Michael Vick is showing off. I'm trying to send some cornerbacks to get a little bit of a heat, but he's just uh, sidestepping it and playmaker in it, and he's just doing really good on offense. I mean, like I said, I'm playing a little bit too much prevent. I'm up. I'm hitting him with some cover fours. Cover fours typically are weak over the middle, so he gets a nice play there. I'm also playing back a little bit too far. As you can see right here, dots me up right over the middle. So, that's what they say about prevent defenses. Don't do that. It prevents you from winning and it's really having that effect right now as he scores on the very next play. Damn it! So now I'm in a position, I really got to get some offense going here. I mean, I got out to a pretty quick lead. Conservative play calling, bad play calling, and on this next play, a bad throw. Where you going? But I can't blame DDA. <gasps> because I totally just got bailed out there. So I had to punt the ball away. And I got to start playing some better defense. I mean, like I said, still in cover four. Like I said, I mean, I'm really just trying to keep him from going right down the field on one play. I would like to slow it down to maybe like three plays, four at the most. You know what I mean? I'm going to let this guy score. It's pretty obvious. On the next play, though, we get a pretty good uh, block shed by my DT and plants him right in the backfield. Bring up a third and 18. I couldn't possibly give him a first down on third and 18, could I? Of course I can, because I'm playing cover four. So that's why I typically don't play this. On the next play, once again, cover four, like I said, I want to make sure I took him at least three plays to score. That's exactly what happened. Strategy has worked. So, so on the last drive of this game, I'm going to use one more play out of the weak slot. Uh, but the play that I'm really looking to use out of this, aside from the dive, is the power option. This is a really good play. You can run this multiple ways. I flip it to the open side of the field, but I really could have ran it to either side. I think the blocking actually works if I ran it to the other direction, but it is what it is. We're going to run it on this play, and like I said, sure enough, that pitch is murder as we get an easy first down, and we stay in bounds. So, perfect play on running the clock. That's pretty much the game plan. The next formation we're going to use is out of the pistol week. This is one of my favorites as well. This is one of the three formations that I use the most, uh, and I can't believe I haven't used it up to this point. I'm going to just basically, once again, Lamar Jackson, the quarterback, put a running back at the fullback spot. It's all about two different plays. The halfback zone week uh, is the first play. And the second most important play is probably the triple option. I'm going to run this exactly the same way as the first formation that I showed you guys. Link in the description below. Once again, if you want to see a more extensive breakdown on this formation, it's real simple. If they keep the defense spread, I'm running the halfback zone week. If they pinch it like my opponent has consistently done, all I'm going to do is switch over to the triple option. It's really that easy. The first read is going to be to hold A and hand it to the fullback slash running back, which is probably the easiest version of the play, and just take it wide. And since my opponent's been running cover through the entire game, I, that could couldn't be easier. I got 10 yards on both carries. Next play, I'm basically just going to, uh, since he didn't pinch, I'm going to run to the halfback zone weak once again. It's really that simple. I don't need huge explosive plays right now, but you can see I'm still getting some pretty big chunks. Then on third and six, he pinches that defensive line once again. Typically, we would go option, but we win zone weak here just because he has no timeouts anyway, and we still get the first down. Now, we get an explosive run on top of that. So, we get the first down. There's only some seconds left, and we get a face mask penalty, which stops the clock and moves us inside the 20. Uh, and then just to, you know, cap it off, I give my opponent a chance, run the ball one more time to the zone read, and sure enough, we get an easy touchdown just to let him know it wasn't really that close, buddy. Dude, I almost had you. <laughs> you almost had me? You never had me. You never had your car. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end the video there. 33 points in the bag, 34 points in the bag, uh, lots of rushing yards. I'd have to go through and add them all up, but it was essentially, you know, my entire offense was running the ball, and it's, like I said, very hard to stop. So if you guys want to see uh, more videos like this, more gameplays like this, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.